Hello everyone, today I'd like to show you how to build this Simon's game in Minecraft. Firstly, I, I saw a guy named Ether try to make it, but it's pretty tricky to build, so I'd like to share some ideas I came up with. First of all, let's have some tests in here, so that you will be able to know that it actually works. Uh, let's have uh, five colors, for example. One. Two, three, four, five. Good. Now the end of the sequence, so that the game will be able to detect if the sequence has ended. Now let's see what we have. Well, this process shouldn't take longer than 15 seconds. Pretty quick. Green. Next. Yellow. Green. Then green and what next red and that's all okay so now do this once more and now start inputting the sequence green Oh no, what's my loops? Had a bit of a problem here. Shouldn't have now. Green. Yes, it's running. Now this lamp will turn on if we have it correct. Uh -huh, green, good. Now yellow. There we go. Green. <coughs> yes. Green. Very good. And next, red. Awesome. So, as I said before, this is not fully automated, and it doesn't uh, say if you have won, and what the item count is, and if you have lost, but uh, you can fig figure it out yourself and automate it very easily. I hope you understood how the memory works. Now let's move on to the next steps. For example, let's see how the showing of the seconds works. When I press this button, the redstone signal goes to here. I have two memory cells in here. This one is... Uh, uh, let me see how to explain this. When an item gets here, in the last hole, in the last dropper, sorry, there's a chest in here and hopper under it. So when an item goes to this chest, then this is activated and uh, the clock generator is stopped. So uh, this memory cell holds whether uh, we've reached an item or not. And this one holds whether we reached obsidian or not. So this torch is going from this hopper and uh, any item that is other than red, green, blue or yellow clay goes in this hopper and this then into this dropper. Actually this dropper should be leading here. So uh, when I activate this 
then this will run until we meet obsidian and uh, let's see what happens uh, items go counterclockwise they enter this chest uh, there's a hopper a dropper that launches them into a water stream there are hoppers in here uh, that represent the uh, item sorter and uh, this is red, green, blue and yellow wires they go here and into the lamp uh, if you want to you can use not the lamps but pistons or whatever you want to show uh, the the sequence elements now what do I do if I want to add an item to the sequence suppose you have uh, an existing sequence in these droppers so all you have to do is move it once and uh, insert a new item move it and uh, insert the end of sequence item and this goes to here to this dropper uh, it has colored clay in this and this has let's move on and okay. this step I think is the most difficult of all so we press a button and I have a memory cell for each of the colors so let's see red it goes into here this is a memory cell this is green it's underneath this this is blue it goes here and this is yellow it goes here so next uh, when we activate one of these then uh, the signal for example if we activate red then the signal goes here to this repeater and to this redstone wire underneath and this redstone wire is pretty important <laughs> like everything in this scheme so if I press any of these then uh, this redstone wire will be activated it goes here 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 underneath and in the end it disables uh, the, this this is actually uh, when any item got shut out then this wire is activated and it calls uh, the next item and uh, when I press the button I need only one item to get shut out then compare it uh, with my input and only when I press the next button will the next item get launched out so that's why I need to disable this wire then it goes here 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 and it enables this memory cell which will call the generator which will move the sequence until we get a next item so guys I hope you enjoyed this video got some ideas I wanted to tell you and uh, I apologize for my bad English bye bye